Hey there. I really hope you guys can hear me right now. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying some new stuff out. Uh, got a brand new camera, as you can probably see. But I'm not really sure how good it is just yet. I did a test run on it. Well, technically this is the test run, but um, I did check it out earlier at home. Just to... Usually dogs like me. So yeah, I'm, as I was saying, I did a test run at home, just trying to see if uh, the audio works. Now, when I tested it, it kind of felt like there's this annoying humming sound in the background. I really hope uh, it's not too terribly noticeable in this recording. I really hope the winds aren't quite as uh, noticeable as they used to be. Uh, with this phone right here but uh, yeah I hopefully this could be the uh, the method of recording going forward because I'm pretty much tired of just using this phone as a way to record uh, these uh, little uh, Pokemon Go videos that I'm doing this camera so far is uh, not really impressed I mean, it's a gift camera, so what what exactly did I expect? But hold on, I've got to fix my view of mess, my face mess. Sorry. And I'm saying no, I do not want to quit. As I was saying, um, yeah, this is just a test run. What happened is. I'm almost out of uh, the pills that I need uh, for my uh, hair treatment, so I'm just going to uh, to the pharmacy and uh, I'm gonna buy some. And I figured since it's a pretty short walk, it's really the perfect uh, opportunity to test this camera out, just to see uh, how well it works and how it's going to handle these videos that I want to keep doing because I really do in fact enjoy making them but I mean the camera itself isn't the camera on the phone isn't all that good and uh, it just adds more problems to the phone making the phone work even slower on top of recording the screen on top of playing the game so I just want to take the, the load off the game and I'm hoping this camera is gonna help me do that uh, only time will tell obviously but right now I'm feeling hopeful I'm not gonna catch the stupid pan seed pan seer sorry pan I'm calling it pan sage this chair should be easy to catch because of, a, of the low CP, and it's always good to catch a cherim because it always has extra stardust along with it. And I'm just now realizing that wow, I haven't I haven't really recorded one of these in a while. I think it's been like two days. A lot has happened in that time, and uh, I'll show you guys in just a second, right after this Baneri. First of all, I've been pretty busy. I finally got, got some time to watch a few Schmodown matches, and uh, I've uploaded one of them. It was uh, Adam Wood versus uh, Molly Damon, and guess what? I uploaded it to the... Uh, the Schmodown Facebook group and Kaiser gives uh, that video a like. Yeah, that Kaiser. Anyways, last night I also uh, watched the uh, Inner Geek the Match Brandon Hanna versus Paul. Or Paul? Versus Saul. Sorry. It was a better match than I was expecting. Not gonna lie. Not gonna. Uh, spoil my reaction to it but 
It's a really good match. Salt definitely surprised me for the better. But yeah, I'm gonna edit it out and uh, put it on my channel in uh, just a few hours, really, after I'm done with this. Now, obviously, I'm gonna have to uh, review this footage, see how well this camera holds up, and uh, if it does well enough, maybe I should consider this to be my uh, my go-to method of recording. There, there's lots of wind here because we're at a pretty open area with no tall buildings to block the wind. I'm getting pretty tired of just chasing the wind, or in this case, running away from the wind. Part of the reason why I I decided to switch to this camera. Problem is though, you know, me walking and holding this camera, um, it's, I mean, I, I, I'm, I imagine, I don't know for sure once I do the footage, but I imagine that uh, everything looks pretty weird and the camera is just rocking from side to side because I'm literally moving while I'm recording this. It's less noticeable when I'm recording it with uh, the phone. So I guess that's one reason to keep using the phone as my main uh, source of recording. But like I said, there are tons of problems associated with that. And I just don't want uh, to rely on just the phone to make these videos. So yeah, if this camera turns out to be more helpful, and if the videos look better, then I'm definitely going to use this one as my main uh, source for these videos. As much as I love this uh, the Flirt and Flaus face mask, it just keeps falling off. Probably because I probably shouldn't be talking while wearing it, but uh, I am, so there's no getting around that. I bet I care much, I mean, I hate wearing these face masks. I hate this virus in general. I hate having to wear a face mask just to walk down the street, just to go buy something in my local market. I hate it, but that's the world we live in right now. No way of getting around that, unfortunately. So, I put on my face mask and just hope for the best. Again, uh, there's still some wind here. Really hope uh, it's not too big of a problem. I'll probably still keep this part right here as part of the uh, the video once I'm done uh, recording, but I really hope this thing uh, turns out well, at least as well as I uh, hoped it would be when I got this camera. And like I said, I did get this as a gift. Hopefully. Um, turns out to be worthwhile because I really want these videos to work and I, and I really want them to look as well as, as I want them. So yeah. Oops. Accidentally uh, Exit the game. Now, there's something I want to show you guys. Something that happened to me at, at work. Good, it's still set to most recent. Boom. 
I just randomly f encountered a shiny, a shiny uh, sun current. Just randomly at work. I didn't even, I didn't even notice it was a shiny until it was too late because I was doing something. I just clicked on one of the sun currents, and shiny sun current isn't really all that different from regular sun current unless you really stop and look at it. Unless someone actually told you that it's a shiny, then you can notice the difference. But. I didn't at first and then I just I don't know how but while I was looking at something else I just casually noticed the uh, the sparkles out of the corner of my eye. I said to myself wait is that a shiny so I just looked at, at the screen and like I said it's not that different from the regular form but I mean, there was, I, I, there was that shiny icon right above the, uh, the CP mirror, so that's how I figured it is it's shiny. So obviously I caught it and evolved it off camera. Again, that's another shiny encounter that you guys didn't get to see on camera. I apologize for that, but that's, that's just the way it happened. So anyways... Um, over here at the pharmacy. I'm gonna stop the recording now and maybe I'll do another one uh, later. So uh, yeah, hey there, I'm back. So yeah, I got the, the stuff that I needed, the stuff that I can get here, that is. I got the, uh, my Professia pills and that. Now I'm gonna have to uh, go back home and uh, order the uh, other pills that I can't get over here. order online because that's how you get medicine these days so yeah as you can see the wind really picked up and I really hope it's not too bad again I'm gonna just gonna go back home and uh, review this footage see if it's any good and, uh, I'm definitely planning to uh, play more of this game today but uh, if the footage is no good and if the camera is just no good, then uh, I'm just gonna have to keep using this uh, phone until I can uh, find a uh, suitable replacement. Like I said, the, uh, I did test this thing earlier. The audio was not the best, and the audio is the most important part of these things. Look at that cliff area over there. Video I can work around, but audio I can't. So we'll, uh, we'll see. I did mention that I heard some annoying uh, humming sound or buzzing sound. And I took this camera out at home. I guess, probably my hope is that it was um, my refrigerator humming because it tends to get pretty loud sometimes. Normally you don't hear it when I'm doing a recording uh, of the, uh, you know, the regular YouTube stuff with my uh, Blue Yeti, but that's mostly because the Blue Yeti tends to record audio that's directly in front of it. That's Crow Gunk. I haven't seen those, one of those in a while. But apparently this, this camera and this camera's uh, mic might be a little more sensitive. I don't know, we'll see. But if it's a viable alternative to just recording it on the phone with the phone's camera, then I'm taking it. I don't care. Dude, who taught you how to drive? Seriously. As I was saying, I'll take any solution that uh, makes these videos better. I don't care if I'm taking the cheap way out or the expensive way out. 
the hard way out. As long as these uh, videos look really good and high quality, to the best of my abilities, obviously, then that's what I'll do. And, uh, huh, I missed out on that poultry, but whatever. Don't really have much to talk about other than just testing out this camera and I really hope it looks good. Well, the main problem though is that earlier I had, I always had one free hand to do uh, anything that I needed to do, like for example just hold the phone with one hand and, you know, fix up my face mask with the other one. Now, I have to put my phone in my pocket, fix my face mask, hold the phone out of my pocket, and continue playing. Oh, that I didn't have much of a problem. What I'm hoping is I could get some kind of a mount that I could put this camera on. But right now I'm using a cell phone. Pretty much pretty sure I'm not really holding it right, but see the problem is I can't hold the camera too far away from my face. Because you probably wouldn't be able to hear me otherwise, especially in this wind. I don't even know if you can hear me right now to be honest. But, I mean, if the audio sucks so bad, I'm not even going to put this part of, uh, I'm not even going to put this recording in the video. I'll just do a, a separate one, and that'll be the only one that, uh, that'll be in the video. Just giving you guys a, head up, a heads up. I'm definitely not looking forward to. Ah, oh, come on. Just trying to synchronize between uh, the uh, video, the, the, what I'm recording right now on the camera, and what I'm recording on the phone. Because I didn't really have, it didn't really exactly start them at the exact same moment. So. I just have to figure out exactly when to put each of the oh look at that an egg an egg is hatching and it's a galarian stunfisk what I love about galarian stunfisk is because when you click on it oh so it doesn't do the uh, the thing where it just closes itself up and it just looks pretty much like a a bear trap, which is pretty much what it's supposed to be. I mean, it's the trap Pokemon. You step on it and, under normal circumstances, you get shot. But in Galar, it bites your foot off, primarily. They even went the extra mile and gave it, gave it a red and white face to make it look like Pokemon. Once again, adding to the trap element that this Pokemon has to offer. So, this pretty much sums this Pokemon up, I suppose. Boink. done with this uh, video to be quite honest well at least this part of the video I went to the pharmacy and uh, got my stuff and uh, now I'm almost back home again I, I am planning to uh, do another recording today just in case this camera thing doesn't work out but other than that, I don't really have much to do.
today. Maybe I can just focus on, uh, you know, doing some Smodon reactions and playing some of the uh, Isle of Armor DLC because that's something I started to do. I'm really enjoying it, by the way. Wow, Buffet! Anyway, I'm really enjoying Oh, come on. I'm having a lot of fun with the uh, Isle of Armor DLC and I barely even got a chance to scratch the surface of it. You know, all I did was just uh, beat Clara once and uh, catch a few really fast slow pokes. Can't, be can't believe I just said that out loud, but it is true. That's what they are. Extremely fast slow pokes. Oh, Rolf, I didn't see you there. I was aiming for that pokey stuff, but whatever. I'll take a Rolf any day. Dude, you're a Rolls. You're not supposed to be hard to catch. Especially with an Ultra Ball. Thank you. Thank you for being caught. And now we've reached. Uh, yeah, I was aiming for this Pokey stop when that Rolls jumped at me. I'm not gonna fight Cliff just yet. Because I believe he's standing in two different poke stops. I'm gonna first review the footage and maybe I'll uh, battle him later today. Hopefully, with a better understanding of how this video is gonna look overall. So, uh, yeah, trying out new stuff is never a bad thing experimenting I'm gonna catch this one the zigzagoon and you know living a school life trying to get uh, from one day to the next hmm that guy's really bugging me. Uh, maybe I should catch this Torchic right here. Hmm. This Torchic has been unusually cooperative. So that's just how my day's been so far. How about you guys? This looks like a good time to end the recording, so I'll see you guys later in the day. Hello again. Now, I guess I probably um, should explain myself at this point. Yeah, I did review the footage. Let me just catch a, a full fix while I'm talking. I did review, review the footage from earlier. Whoops. That was a weird throw there. And, uh, well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is the video quality on this camera is exactly what I wanted it to be. Bad news is the audio quality is just terrible and uh, completely completely unusable so um, what am I going to do well I'm doing it right now what I decided to do I decided to kind of get the best of both my options and I'm gonna use this camera right now for uh, the um, visual uh, recording because it's much better than the camera that I have on this shattered broken phone over here and as far as audio goes all the audio that you're hearing right now comes directly from the phone's speaker I uh, I tested it out with uh, the, uh, the footage that I already shot earlier today 
and uh, that just happened to be the uh, best compromise to just uh, film with this camera and record audio with this phone. Hold on, some wind. Now, obviously, there's some upside to that and there's a downside. Um, and hopefully I can go over all of it right now. The downside is I'm not going to be able to get the audio quality that I wanted, which means we're still going to have to rely on this phone right here uh, for audio, which, as I've mentioned in the past, is not the best. Especially, it doesn't handle wind very well. Hold on. On the other hand, though, hold on, there's some people here. Anyways, as I was saying, um, the audio on this thing right here doesn't handle wind very well. One thing I did notice about this camera, though, is unlike this, you can almost not hear the wind at all. Now the oops, no, no, I don't want to fight you. Go away, stupid Arlo. Oops, I was aiming for this Rosalia over here. Thank you. Now, what I was about to say was, sorry about that. This camera isn't really affected by the noise that the wind makes, but unfortunately that's mainly because it doesn't handle audio at all very well. There's this annoying humming sound or buzzing sound, I'm not even sure. And it just, it makes it impossible to record a reasonable uh, episode. Let's call it that. So, uh, yeah, it sucks. I was really hoping that I could finally speak normally without being uh, hindered by the winds. The winds have changed, uh, but no, that didn't end en ended up happening. So, I think the compromise that I was able to uh, achieve is acceptable. Now, the unfortunate part is that now I have both my hands occupied, and uh, if something like this happens, that I need to fix my face mask I need to put my phone in my pocket fix my fa face mask and then resume the recording which is what I'm gonna do right now hold on yeah see and sometimes things uh, inside the phone get clicked on and yeah it's very uh, very troublesome but, I mean, I'd say it's better than what we used to have before this, earlier this week. So, as far as changes go so far, I'd say this change um, was a good change. Not exactly 100% sure that this is going to be the format of these videos going forward maybe hopefully I can find a much better camera that's got the exact same um, video quality but with much better audio and then it could just be a completely different experience now what here's the question why is my character standing in the same place between a rock and a hard place or as I like to call them, between Arlo and Cliff. Not really sure which one of his, which one of them is the rock and which one of them is the hard place, but I assume Cliff would be the rock. Because he looks a bit like Dwayne Johnson. Oh, just a bit. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess Olo could be the hard place because he's so stubborn. But whatever. I don't really care very much. I have no plans to battle either one of them today. Hopefully, one of these days, we can just get a better uh, mount to put this phone on so that I can have two free hands, or at least one free hand. To, uh, make these videos a little bit better because like I keep saying I really enjoy making these videos only problem is these videos are a lot harder to do than I expected as you probably noticed with me trying some new things and, all, and whatnot but regardless I think this is just gonna I think this is a step in the right direction as far as improving these videos. Now, the problem is because I'm recording the, uh, the audio part of this with the phone, this means I need to speak much more loudly. Otherwise, you can't hear me, especially with these winds. I'm gonna cross the road to the other side. Maybe the wind is a lot less stronger over there. Just a thought. Okay. Now, uh, unfortunately, we've reached the part where there really aren't any Pokemon over here. So uh, me recording this is kind of useless. So I'm just gonna pause, put my phone in my pocket and stop this recording as well. And continue once there's actually more action and less wind because yeah, that could be very annoying. So see you guys in just a minute. Hey, what's up? Um, so yeah, as you can see, I've, uh, I had to restart the game. Now, uh, yeah, I didn't record another, uh, another part of this video once I got to my destination because there wasn't really much to do there. I just went in, went to the mall and bought some stuff and uh, on my way back, I was uh, carrying it in my hands and I didn't have, I, I just couldn't physically carry those things that I bought and hold this phone at the same time and hold this camera at the same time so uh, I just figured it'd be easier not to record anything first of all first things first let's start with this egg let's see what we got oh, people up people up people up this one appears to be very popular in the egg circles as far as egg hatching and stuff so let's just put this uh, five kilometer egg which is now a two and a half kilometer egg oh, look at that a makuhita uh, hold on I had, oh look at that I'm, I'm inside a coughing what do you know or is the coughing inside me oh yeah as I was saying I was uh, carrying a lot of stuff in my hands and I just couldn't record another uh, another one of these videos so what bugged me about it was I said I was going to record another one and I didn't and uh, I don't like to make promises that I can't keep oops, if I can avoid it so I figured I just you know take the time and uh Record another one for just the five minutes or so, just outside, just so. I wouldn't just uh, end that last part of the, this video on, uh, on a lie, basically. 
Let's get up now. I'm gonna do something that I do pretty much every night, but I, I don't think I've ever done it since starting this um, these series of videos. Because I, and honestly, I don't really have much of a need to do it. My first uh, okay, stop spin of the day. That's cool. Yeah, I'll feed my uh, buddy Pokemon in just a minute because, as you know, I can't do that on camera because the game freezes. And, uh, we don't want that. Hold on. Hmm. This camera's a little too shaky. I'm gonna try to fix it. Hold on. There, hopefully that works. Apparently there, there aren't any uh, some rocket leaders. Yeah, I didn't battle uh, Cliff eventually because it always uh, kind of zeroes out at about 10 o'clock. So I'm pretty sure that after 10 o'clock they all go away. They come back the following day at 10 in the morning. Seems like pretty comfortable hours to me. Oh yes, by the way, you may have noticed that I'm not wearing a mask. Well, mm, it's past midnight, so I don't need to. You know? Who cares about the stupid virus at 10 at past midnight, right? There's almost nobody out here anyway, so there really is no reason for me to wear a mask. Now, let me just check something. Check. Uh, apparently, the McMortar I put in here a few days ago is still there, which is all okay by me. I also put a Matang next to the mall today. But, you know, just to help my, uh, my numbers up a bit, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that it's past midnight. And I'm going to put some, po some uh, Pokemon in the gym over there, at my usual place. If the wind would be quiet enough to allow me to do, to do so. Okay, so it's just a Garboer. Nothing too exciting. I can easily finish this guy up with no problem. And... Replace it with one of mine. Hmm. Now, Metagross is the perfect choice to battle this guy. Because it's four times resistant to poison and its uh, charge attack is Earthquake, which is super effective against poison. Well, this guy's putting up quite a fight, but. I mean, it's not going to be enough to stop my Metagross. Because my Metagross is awesome! I really hope there's no one here. As per usual. Good, this place is pretty much empty. It's been too much... too... crowded... these last uh, couple of weeks. I think the... whoever put this Meta... this... Uh, our border here is a new one. Apollon. No idea who that guy is. Apparently he's a new guy. I don't care. He's still gonna uh, learn the rules of the trade. You put a Pokemon in the gym. I'll, I'll give you a day or two. Then I'll knock the Pokemon out. Put m one of mine in there. Then uh when you wake up in the morning, you'll see my Pokemon in the gym, and uh, you're going to get pissed off. So much so that you're going to put one of your Pokemon in here, and uh, the following day, we restart the cycle. Put Glyscore in here. Glyscore! Because I love Glyscore, and I really want some uh, candy from... See, the strategy is always put Pokemon in gyms that you want to get candies from. Because if you feed them enough times, 
there's a small chance you'll be able to get candies from them like I said it's a very small finite chance I keep saying this but it's true you're much more likely to find a shiny than to get a candy from feeding Pokemon in gyms but it does happen from time to time that's why I'm still doing it now we're gonna do the same thing for this prime AP we're gonna get Battle him twice and kick him out of the gym. Put one of my Pokemon in here, and then we're gonna do the same thing for all the other gyms. Gengar's not a bad choice. And then going back home. Simple. Apollon 9010. I don't even need to go for a uh, sludge bomb. Yeah, Shadow Claw was enough to finish this thing out. Even though it doesn't really have much of a type advantage over it, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, I saw something. Pookie. It's crazy how uh, your mind can play tricks on you when it's dark. Maybe my champ. Just cause I need some uh, Machop can match up candies. Machop. What is wrong with me? Oh, okay, so this gym has two Pokemon in it, so it's not that simple, but they're both fire types, and uh, we all know how easily I can deal with those. Heim. Lechaim. Heim 144. Here. Have a rock. Wow, that did a lot of damage. I don't think there is a type combination that's four times weak to rock. Hmm, I'm trying to think of one. At least one, not one that's in the game. So rock is strong. Nope, there is. Bug fire. Problem is. I don't think there are any bug fire types in Pokemon Go just yet. Because there are only, I believe there are only two bug and fire type Pokemon in existence so far. Those being uh, Volcarona and Centascorch. Now obviously there are pre-evolved forms, uh, Larvesta and uh, Sizzlepeed. But I mean, so yes, okay, so yeah, technically four, but still doesn't change the fact too much that neither of them are in Pokemon Go. So, yeah, you can't find a Pokemon in Pokemon Go that, that is four times weak to rock. So, just some random stuff that I'm trying to think of while recording this. Well, that was easy. Oh no, I'm going to have to battle this guy again. Bummer. Whatever. I'm gonna battle him with shiny dose this time around. Hey, yeah, this should be easy. Whoa. Didn't think it'd be that easy. Well, he's gone. And now it's time to put one of my guys in here. One go. Should I put the second Machamp in here too? Probably yes. The more Machamps you feed, the higher the chances of you getting candies from them. Now, uh, Snorlax is gonna be tough, but I mean, pretty sure Hariyama can handle it. And it's the other Hariyama, not the one I'm using in the PvP battle, which means. Oh no, I believe his uh, fast attack is. Bullet punch. Oh no, it's arm thrust, just like the other one. Super power to risk the attack, but I mean, pretty much knocked it out, so doesn't really matter all that much. Hold on, I just realized I haven't done this. Good. Now I'm ready to battle the Snorlax. 
Come on, come on. But, you know, doesn't bother me much. Done and done. Now let's just put one of them. Now, I've been thinking about it, and I want to put my Snorlax in here. Where is my Snorlax? There's Snorlax. Because, you know, gotta feed it and get some S Snorlax candy to power it up. There's my Magmortar. berries from this gym which is annoying but I'm, I'm pretty sure I already have enough berries to feed enough Pokemon so I'm not, I'm not gonna even gonna try to catch any of these Pokemon I'm just gonna go back home and uh, work on this video that I'm maybe should just catch the end because I, I want the candy for it. that's all yeah I've got plenty of berries just so I don't have to uh, waste any more poke cube, any more uh, peanut berries on this thing. I'm going to use an ultra ball. It's annoyingly hard to try to catch this thing with only one hand. Oh, look at that. Finally, finally landed a hit. And they caught it. Which is super fun. I'm just going to catch this coughing for the weather boost. Hmm. Awesome. Now I can do this. Hold on. Oops. That's not what I meant. Random encounter out of this, and it's a magic card. Hooray, dude! Thank you. So uh, yeah, this has been my day so far, so this has been my day period, and uh, well, I really hope this uh, new camera is going to work out as well as I, uh, I hoped it would, but I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, this has been my first day. Testing out this new camera. Let me know what you think about it. In the meantime, by the way, side note for uh, the two people that are actually uh, watching these videos. Tomorrow I'm going on a road trip with uh, my mom. She has something she needs to do. And uh, she asked me to come along. I said, sure, why not? So, uh, if there isn't an episode of this tomorrow, not that anyone even cares, but still, if someone does care, and uh, you know that there isn't an episode of this tomorrow, now you know why. But now you know. But I mean, that's tomorrow. It's everything today, but. That's all I got to say for now. So, I'm going to sleep. And talk to you guys some, uh, some other time. Get away for now.
Hello again everybody! I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.